Hello again everybody, another day flying the white horse, horse landing day for me though, sorry to say. Anyway, it was a um, great take off, it took off, sped the bar out and within seconds over 60 foot above the ridge, within minutes I was more or less in thermal and climbing out. It was um, not smooth, it wasn't rough. There was times when it did come in rough, and I mean rough, but there was other times when it was as smooth as still. As you can see, just after takeoff, I climbed out no trouble at all. It was fantastic for about a two, three hour period. I took off, I turned around, and now I, I'm saying it was the best thermal day of the year, but I think after learning that my glider won't stall and I can't push out enough in terms. I think I'm now getting more out of her. And I'm just doing shallow turns. Luckily the best turn angle for her is when I look across and the wingtip is level with the horizon. So what I've started doing now is just keeping the wingtip on the horizon and trying to use that to kick as you see I get chucked about and I'm rather light for the glider so I tend to get chucked about when I have a lot. But I can live with it, it means I go up and stay up. I, um, at least this glider's both wings are the same. Calypso is this glider by the way. So when I bought it's had about 18 hours flying on it now. More than that probably, because I've had a, got a few hours on her since I've been flying her. It seems to have bought me good luck that way. Anyway, um, this was a good day as I say. I, I'd climb out, I'd get into thermals. The first one I flew into, I um, I out climbed a couple of ridges, and I managed to get to a thousand four hundred and forty-eight feet. I just could not get the last two feet. I could have if I'd have went back and carried on going back further, but I I'd come out the front of the thermal because I considered I was back far enough. Now with the three thermals I had, each time I worked my way out the front. Yes, yeah, so I say I just worked my way out as far as I could. And no luck, maintaining a bit of height, I led back to the hill. Then each time, I climbed back out, away from the hill. And then, eventually I, I thought to myself, well hang on, every time I get good height over the back, I, I end up going out the front, which is where the pyramid comes from, that, that I've just been flying in. So eventually I, I started to think, why sideways? So, uh, on the last turn, well, that's what I've done. But you can see this, the air is so smooth now because I'm just on a, a glide down. Yeah, and as I say, each time you go back the hill and you get more lift. Every time without fail, the lift was there. Feel some lift as you fly for it, but try turning it, but. If I didn't get it, I'd have to go back into the hill and initially get the initial climb out. Last time, let's go for the side. What I said, instead of going straight out front, I get it sideways. And I eventually end up crossing up the horse. I'm getting lower and lower. A couple of times I felt some it's like rubbish and um, I didn't get no luck with it. So eventually I'm on a, a nice glide. I've decided now I've got to head back to the hill. And if I head back to the hill, the idea is now I'm going to sweep across the takeoff. Not at this point, I mean, this is I'm still, <laughs> I'm in another turn now. As I say, I started trying to put um, conversation over the top of, top of the video, that you cut into bits to make the video. As I say, that this must have been one of the other turn ones I climbed out in. In a minute we get to the bit where I went sideways. I didn't want to go over the trees. Somebody said they'd done um, more of the height now going above the trees. But, so I very rarely go over the trees. But as I say, I'm out the front. Trying, trying, trying. Know that. Out the front now and low. So now I'm heading back, I've got a nice glide, I'm maintaining, I'm looking at the ground, trying to maintain the best glide angle I can. 
and I'm heading across now and my idea is I'm going to cut straight across the takeoff and uh, instantly, like I did on takeoff, I'll zap back up. Now at this point, as I'm coming in, what do I see in front of me? Someone about to take off. I thought, nah, you don't take off. Sorry to say, you never showed up on a camera. I got forced out away across the bowl. There was no lift in the bowl. I was sinking even in the bowl. I ended across the front. Now the wind was off to the north. I couldn't go across the bit I'd normally go over, so I went right round onto the north base, facing bit in front of the horse, or to the side of the horse where the horse is looking. I grabbed the blast there, shot up, turned round. Now at this point I am praying like it would really love to be flying one of my other gliders where I could pull in, ram her over 45 degrees, ram the bar out, and I'd be back round staying in that lift. But because this thing side slips, there's no way I can do steep turns. So now I'm coming back across the horse. I'm maintaining height, but it is you can see how rough it is. Now if I go in behind those trees, it will be so rough I won't know what hit me. So I've got to stay out the front. At this point now, the guy that forced me off the hill and took off, is now skying out. Everyone after tried to say to me, but if there's no lift when you come back in, cobblers, there was plenty of lift. Nobody's seen who it was, took off. Yeah, scratching around is no fun. I love doing it, but not when it's like this, in turbulent sight. And on a glider that I'm too light for. It's no fun. Yeah, I'd love to have been able to get my steep turns now, because as I'm going down, I'm actually maintaining height. I could pull in, bang the bar out, wrap it around, but I can't. I've got to do shallow turns. And that is what's really messing me up now. But, I'll have another go. Yeah, I eventually, um, went across the bowl again as you see I'm low very low coming back round across in front of the bowl normally if I was a little bit more high I'd sweep right in over the, actually fly over the takeoff but I haven't got that high, I can't do it I've got to go round and I can't even go in close to the takeoff I've got to go round the front of the trees. If I went in behind the trees, I'd have to be one another idiot. But now I'm open again, that I might be able to go across the front of here again. It's around the corner here that I'm going to get the best lift again. I think this was the third time I did this. Deep. Just maintaining the same height all the time. But this time I come round, I tried a little bit too iron dropped a little bit more than I really wanted to at this point because I turned a little bit too steep maybe I don't know I just cannot put the bar on. then I found myself coming back at the tree and there's no way I'm going to hit that tree but <laughs> I nearly did because I just got the wing up in time but um, I've got no choice now but to uh, go around this other tree and now I've got no choice but to head for the landing thing. Thank God, good landing. Chris actually said he was surprised that I made the landing though, but I will add, at this time I was going sideways to go over the line of trees. I could have got there a lot easier, but I would have had too much height, so obviously I'm trying to burn it off before I get to the landing. But this glider lands really nice, man, I must admit. So. But there you go, that was my day ruin now because thank god one of the guys, one of the paraglider guys kind of picked me up. Very thankful for that. Thank you! And um, back to the top, rig the glider again. Yes, and as always, very polite. Me, I was always taught to thank people. Yeah, whoever it was forced me off the hill, they know who they are, you know the old saying, you can lie to some people some of the time, some of the people all the time, but you can never lie to yourself. So, thank you very much whoever it was, because it really ruined my day. I ended up rigging up, sat on the top, and the wind did eventually drop off, long after I got back on top then. 
thank God, late on the evening, me and Nick managed to take off. We were both dreading carrying the gliders back to the rig. But Nick took off, went up, so I thought, that's it, then that's my cue. I took off. All the paragliders, as you can see, they were in the air by now, Mike. It, it did stay right most of the afternoon. But now I thought, is this going to stay like this, or is it just a climb out? And, you know, going to drop again in a minute, so I... I done about four or five beats, and I thought, nah, that's me, I'm going to get me glider back to me van. I'd done enough work, I felt shattered that day, what we were walking about was in forwards, the dogs killed me, mine were uh, 11, but they're a lot of work really for me at my age. But, at the end of the day really, it was a fantastic day, best thermals I've had this year so far. But as I say, it might not be the thermals, it might be the fact that I've now learned not to do steep turns, because I can't push out the stall in straight flight, let alone in a turn. But a nice 10, 12 degree bank turns and she seems to float round in most thermals. Not as good as the uh, sky up for S turning in thermals, but it still works. It's still a good technique for me. But at this point now, as I say, I'm really trying to make me mind up. Do I enjoy the flight and hope something comes through and climb out big or Bad luck, something comes through and sinks us down, I end up at the bottom again. Or landing on the front again, and if I did that I'd be where I was when I took off. But um, in the end I, I sensed it was easy. At this point Nick had more or less felt the same thing and he headed back for a landing. So as you can see we were both happy when we could derig. Nice steady G rig next to the van and a nice cup of tea. But I would have been happier if I'd have stayed in the air, but I wouldn't mind, but with all the flying I've been getting this month, me the arms and everything starting to get the feel for it. And when I went down this morning early on the first flight, I could have stayed up another hour and a half minimum because I was really enjoying it. But there you go. Sorry I put so much of this on, I just make the shoulder quick hop up and back into the um, family of her. See all the paragliders were um, in the air. There's been a few floating around most of the afternoon, but at that point it got really good for them. They were flying until quite late, and that's the fact there was one flying when the sun was going down. But for me, it was back top landing right next to the van. And uh, happy days, a cup of tea, and D-Rig. This time, D-Rig with her packing. That bottom man, it was the first time I've derigged this one without putting packing in it. Uh, it might be an old glider, but it is like new and I want to look after it. Probably one of the newest things I've ever had in my life. I've always bought second hand. There you go. Cheers all, thanks for watching. And then uh, here's a serenade I got a land to. Happy playing everyone.